Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the start of a brand new makeover. So I am actually up in Montana. There's literally snow outside. <laughs> like so much snow, but I am in an apartment that she has and we are going to be transforming this space into an Airbnb. It's going to be a bit of a challenge because it's not a very large space. It's pretty small. It's also got like some unique features and just like some awkward areas. And we're also working on a pretty small budget as well as kind of a small time frame. So we have a lot to get done in a little amount of time and we haven't had a huge budget to do it all, but I think we are going to turn this place into something so incredible. We are going to be painting all the walls, painting the kitchen cabinets, also the bathroom cabinet wall features, like some wood wall features, accent walls, all that kind of stuff. And we're also going to be furnishing it completely so that it's ready for someone to come rent and enjoy. I'm going to give you just a quick, quick little tour and then you guys will kind of get a better feel for the space as the video continues and as you watch it just completely transform. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. All right, we are going to start by opening up the door and immediately you walk into the living room right here slash kitchen and dining area. Right here, we are going to be making be like a more designated living room area and I do love all the natural light that comes into this one. There's just tons of windows all over and then you have like this small little kitchen. You're planning to add a little dining space and then there's the fridge. Through the kitchen, you have this small little bathroom. It's super cute, but very outdated. And it's pretty tiny. And then on this side, you have the bedroom. This bedroom actually doesn't have like a regular window right there because that's the hallway, but they have this cutout right here that kind of serves as a window and we're going to give like that a wall treatment. And then we're planning to put a bed here and just transform the space and make it somehow feel even bigger or bigger than it actually is. missing Kyle being here with me. He's just back home in Arizona, but my brother is going to come in. My sister-in-law is also going to come in. So we're all just going to like tackle this place together. But the first thing that I want to do is start painting. I actually wasn't planning on doing this, but once I got eyes on the place, I feel like on camera it looks really nice, but in person, the walls are a lot more yellow. So hard to tell on camera, but they just look a little bit dingy. Surprise, surprise, we are going to be doing Pale Oak, Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. That's the same color that we have throughout our entire house and we love it. It's just like the perfect backdrop and my mom really loves it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're also gonna be like painting this as an accent wall and then also doing something a little bit different in the bedroom area. You never know like where to start when you're first starting out in these like overwhelmingly big projects where you have a lot to do, but I'm just gonna pick a spot. I think maybe I'll just start over here by the door and kind of work my way around because we're not painting this wall by the radiator so i think i think that's the plan i shut my eyes trying not to speak pretend that i'm dreaming this makeover is one of my favorites that we've ever done, but it did take a lot of creativity, a lot of effort and time to get this finished. And while I was up in Montana, I actually vlogged and gave a little behind the scenes of like prep for this when we were shopping at Goodwill and secondhand and things like that. 
So if you wanna see some of the behind the scenes of this makeover and some of the prep, I will link that vlog down below. That is over on our Kyle and Amanda vlog channel. So just so you know where to find that if you want just a little bit of extra content based around this Airbnb makeover. Okay, so you cannot probably tell on camera, but this paint color is like pretty yellow. This is the white trim, and then this is our new color. Oh, looky, you're not even gonna be able to tell on camera, but trust me, it'll look way better. It's gonna not look as dingy, and it'll just look more neutral. But to you guys, it looks like we're doing the same color. <laughs> We are like part way through. We have this wall done. I don't know when, like how the trim was painted, but it's very dingy. And Brittany, my sister-in-law, she was trying to like scrub it down and it's like making it even dirtier. So I don't know. We do have a white paint. And so I think that my niece, Keely, is going to try to just start painting. Like we're gonna at least try painting the doors I really wish you guys could see how it actually looks in person because on camera it's just like, oh, a perfect white door, but it is not. It is deceiving on camera. So we're gonna go ahead and start painting that and see how it goes. And if it matches enough, because I don't think we need to do all the baseboards, but if it matches enough, then we'll continue on just like painting the trim, like the window trim and stuff, but we'll kind of see how it goes. Okay, so we have like a whole little team going. My brother's back. Keely is painting the doors and doing an excellent job. We're still working on painting the walls. My sister-in-law Brittany is painting in the bedroom. This lighting is terrible, so that's gonna be fixed tomorrow or another day. Jake is about to be, out about to be working on like some board and batten on this wall. So we're gonna do some MDF to go across here and then we'll just put like some slats up and down. And this is where the bed's gonna go, so really this is going to kind of like add some interest in this room. We're gonna paint it white, which will keep it nice and bright in here, and then also it'll kind of act as like a headboard. So we'll kind of accomplish a lot of things with this. So now, are you just gonna be cutting it? Yeah, yeah we'll go out and okay. cut it. And then bring it. Yeah, so we'll just measure that and then go ahead and cut for the board and batten. Ooh, that sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that kind of potion, just my kind of heat, keep it on me, be tested by the potion, love it, it's the potion. 
So like I said, to make the board and batten, we are just using one by four painted MDFs. Now we are gonna paint these white anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but having them like this is just nice because they're actually finished wood, so we're not having to do the extra step of sanding or anything like that. And then we're just doing it five feet up, so then we're just cutting the slats all to matching lengths to make it five feet tall. Finally, we have the whole main area painted. This is just like kind of drying up here. This wall, we're still gonna do a different color, so that is not done yet. So now Jacob's just measuring like how far apart to space these. You're just using your a nail gun. Oh! Did that get your foot? <laughs> just a little bit, but it's okay. Oh man. It's okay? <laughs> it's okay. Ow. It's worth it. <laughs> It was worth it. Finally done with like most of this. We'll still have to paint the board and batten, but we are gonna start in on the closet and I'll turn you around to show you why. It's not like a huge deal to paint the closet, but this was like, I don't think very durable paint and it's just like so scuffed that it's gonna look really, really nice if we just paint it. And because it's a closet, we don't have to be like as careful as bad as that sounds. So I think it'll go really quick. <laughs> we'll paint this last words. <laughs> That makes such a difference. It's a huge difference. <laughs> Super useful light. It can only go up from here. Gosh, Jacob, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so ridiculous. So here I'm just painting the board and batten a nice white color. This is actually the same white that we're using on the window trim along with the doors. And this is a quick little tip, but we just got some mist tints from Sherwin-Williams. I don't know if this is something that they do at all Sherwin-Williams stores or maybe all paint stores, but basically they kind of messed up a color, but it was good enough for us. And we got it for $7 instead of like $90 a can for this really high premium paint. So definitely ask your paint store if they have any mist tints. It's like seven at night. We're just starting to paint in the bathroom. <laughs> and my sister-in-law's like, oh, just like see how dirty the, the shower is. It's like... Oh, gross. <laughs> so present here. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> hey, it's at least coming off. Though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. At least it's soap and not dirt. <laughs> gross. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> 
So while we were finishing painting, my brother was in the living room and kitchen area just changing out some of the lights. These are actually ones that they picked up from Ikea when they were down in Utah recently. And originally these lights were silver, but we actually took them apart and spray painted the outside black just to kind of tie in with all the black accents that you'll be seeing throughout the next few days. Keep in mind, when you're doing makeovers or transforming a space, a lot of the end result really is all in the details. So don't overlook them. All right, it is a new day. We have light back now. Everything is painted other than this accent wall that we're going to paint darker today. And then my mom's here with me. And then we're also going to be like painting some of the bathroom fixtures black. Like we're painting the mirror black. We're painting the, I know you cannot see it, but we're painting that wood piece black, like the shelves black, things like that. I'm so excited for this one. We're actually gonna be painting this matte black as well because tomorrow we're gonna start on the cabinets and refinishing those. So we're just gonna keep things nice and bright and airy in here, but we really wanted to add like those black accents, like flat black, just because it really kind of like elevates the space. It gives a lot of nice contrast and also is very timeless and just makes it feel a little bit more modern upscale. So that's kind of our goal for this space. We're just maximizing what we have. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and grab the paint. I can't remember what it's called. It's a Sherwin Williams color, oh, Anchors Away. And I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this accent wall. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other. You just know I'm a little concerned about this color because this is what it's supposed to look like. This is the swatch and this is the color we have. It does not look like the same. Like this has like some really bright blue in it. So I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'll paint it on the wall, see how it goes. And this is what it's looking like on the wall. It's almost like a teal color. I don't think they did this right. Okay, we got back from the paint store and they painted it on. They dried it and they did like multiple coats and it does look closer. They calmed my nerves on it. So I think I'm gonna just go for it and start painting the wall and just fingers crossed the entire time that we're not wasting our time and it'll actually dry darker and be the blue tone that we're looking for. You can see I'm talking throughout a lot of these clips and that's because my mom was here with me basically every single day. Now we actually talked about doing a reveal like we typically do within our makeover videos, but once we started out on this makeover, I just realized this was going to end up taking like basically my entire trip up to Montana. And so I really didn't want to miss that time with my mom. If she were to do a full reveal, then she would be, you know, stuck at home or busy doing other things and we wouldn't have had that time together. So instead we decided to forego the ultimate reveal and she was just a part of the entire process and we got to visit and just have such a fun time on this trip. Even though we were working, we were also just getting a lot of really good quality time in. Okay, do you see what I'm talking about with like this wall being so, like the blue being so bright blue and it's like kind of like an ocean blue. I don't know, I could see how it is building a little bit over here with a thicker coat, but I'm wondering how many coats I'm gonna have to do because even on this darker coat, it's still like in person looking a little bit too blue. So we shall see, let's have good vibes. All right, while I'm waiting for this first coat to dry, I'm actually going to move into the kitchen. My mom has been scrubbing down these cabinets and wiping them all down so that we can paint them tomorrow, but I'm going to be tackling this little chimney and this chimney is going to look so nice in a matte black. So we got the matte black actually on like a crazy good deal. It was a mist tint at Sherwin-Williams yesterday for $7.00 for a gallon, like we got several gallons like that yesterday in different, like more neutral tones and colors. Just for other different projects my mom has going on, but that's how we got this black and it's going to totally transform this. So I'm just moving some things around to clear off some space and then we'll get to painting. Wow, 
I'm starting to paint. My mom is actually starting to paint or roll this on and it is getting way darker. Like it's looking much better. It's still a little oceany, but not near as bad as it was. I think this is three coats and I think we're gonna need at least one more coat, we will see. And then this chimney is turning out really good. It just got another coat on it. I don't even know if I'll need a, a third one. That's gonna look so nice. Tomorrow we're gonna be painting some white cabinets, but now we are going to actually come in the bathroom and instead of having to fix the walls, replace these with all that cost and everything, we are just going to be painting Things like the mirror, the shelf, the light fixture, like all that stuff black, and even the toilet paper holder, because we I just painted this yesterday. We're gonna paint it all black so that we have like some black accents in here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow and be painting this white. Let me know in the comments, would you have chosen to paint all these black or would you have just taken them out and replaced them with something else like new bars or new mirrors and light fixtures? We definitely talked about that option, but when you are on a budget, you have to decide what things make the cut and what things don't. We just decided that these were actually in really good shape. They just weren't really aesthetically pleasing or modern and fitting the space anymore. And so we just felt like our budget could be stretched by just painting them. And then we could go ahead and just use the money that we would have had to spend on a new light fixtures, a new mirror, things like that, and put that money towards something that would give us a little bit more benefit. It is the third day now <laughs> and I was so looking forward to be done with being done with painting and I forgot obviously we need to paint the kitchen cabinets and not only that but I posted a picture to Instagram yesterday just kind of like a silly picture because I was really worried about that wall color which I'm happy to report it's turning out very beautiful like it's very nice and dark it's just what I wanted it did take five coats but whatever we're there but when I posted the picture, someone had messaged and they were like, you should paint this little, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a slant in the wall. And they're like, you should paint that so that your eye goes up higher. And I looked at it and I was like, yep, I should. You're totally right. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I think I was just like checking off the to-do list and I didn't really take the time to step back and look and be like, yeah, that's right. Like I just didn't even think about it. So we get to pull out that glorious ocean blue paint again and do five more coats up top but i think it'll be worth it it'll just bring your eye up soon my brother's gonna be over here he's going to be cutting like the the hardware holes in the kitchen cabinets and then we are finally going to be starting to paint the cabinets and that is going to make like the biggest difference and the little bathroom cabinet as well This entire process was a bit emotional to be doing this, helping my mom, but also because my dad wasn't here. I have painted so many houses with him when I was a kid, and I've just been by his side helping him throughout the years when I was younger. 
And I know that if he were here, he would be so excited to see this transformation. And I also know he would be so thankful that we were all coming together to help my mom with this because he loved my mom so much. He would do absolutely anything for her. So even though I know he wasn't here in person with us, he was here in spirit. And it was just a very bittersweet emotional experience. My brother had to run some errands, so he headed out. My mom headed out to run some errands, and I am left here with this kitchen just waiting to be transformed. I am using something that I've never used before. It's Beyond Paint all in one, and this is just in bright white, but I've watched some YouTube tutorials on it, and it looks really awesome. Like, it's very, very thick paint. Supposedly, you don't need a lot of it, and it's a one-step process. Like you don't have to strip it down. You don't have to sand anything. You don't have to do any of that crazy stuff. You just clean your surfaces, which my mom already did yesterday. And then you just stipple it into like any crevices and then roll as much as you can. Fingers crossed this goes very smoothly and you know, semi-quick, we'll see. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is like crazy, crazy thick, really, really thick. I'm gonna go ahead and just tape off like the wall, the chimney. I think that's mostly gonna be it. And then I'll also tape off down around the floors and then I'll just cut in everywhere else. This Beyond Paint is so cool, but you do have to do like a different technique. It's textured paint. Now don't let that scare you. It definitely does not look really textured or anything. It just kind of hides like any imperfections and I love how it looks, but you want to use your brush to stipple in like any of the grooves and then you want to roll everything that you possibly can and then just give it a few coats and it will turn out beautifully i cannot wait to make over all of our bathrooms at our house using this paint right, i have the first coat on and i don't know if you can tell but like it's definitely gonna need at least one more coat which they they say you need two coats usually we'll see i might only need two or we might want to do a third but that went on way way smooth super nice you kind of like stipple it in and then you just roll it but now we're going to go ahead and start on the bottoms first coat done on everything other than the doors i think i'm gonna wait to do those and just do those all at once because i think that's gonna be like just a whole like sprawled out process 
but I'm checking and these are like completely dry. I mean, they're not like, you know, cured. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the second coat of everything and then we'll work on the, whatever they're called, the doors. I don't feel like I can say for sure yet, like how it's gonna hold up. I'm hoping really great because I've seen a lot of really great things about them. At least application is like, could not be better. Okay, so <laughs> I got all the coats on. I ended up having to do three coats. You know, they're gonna be well used in an Airbnb and so I wanted them to be like very durable. So I went ahead and did three coats on everything. So I am going to go ahead and put a few coats on all the doors. So I'll probably just lay out like a nice drop cloth and then start working on those and then we will move on to the next step. I decided to go ahead and just use some paper bowls to prop the cabinets up on and it was nice because once we were done I was still able to go ahead and reuse those bowls to eat with but this just gave me the opportunity to get really clean lines on the sides without having to touch the cabinets or pick them up or anything. You got to get creative when you're painting your cabinets. my gosh you guys i'm so tired of painting ah but this is going really well even though i'm over it i do think i might need to put one more coat on the bathroom vanity and then these are going to need minimum one more coat i'm guessing two more coats but once you get the first one on like the rest go a lot faster so i'm gonna keep painting on these and then i'll catch up with you guys and show you the finished product are on day four i am not in painting clothes and i'm staying out of them because finally we were done painting a little island like kitchen island arrived from amazon we also have a desk that we're putting in the bedroom and then we have like a ton of kind of big projects and odds and ends my brother is bringing the mattress over and the couch and things like that so really today like we have the most beautiful backdrop now in the kitchen and the living room and all the paint that we've done we are going to like really start seeing things come together with furniture pieces and just all the stuff i'm so tired of seeing my breath i'm ready to go back to arizona and just like enjoy the warm weather again but it's been really nice just being here and like especially being able to help my mom so anyway we have a thousand things to do today so let's head inside Get back, go south, no man waiting, you 
If you saw the behind the scene vlog to this makeover, you know we got a lot of things secondhand. And then we are also using some things from my mom's house, like this mattress. This was just one she had extra. So we are just taking advantage of that and using this in the Airbnb to help save on the budget. wanted to not only add like a dining area but I also wanted to make it feel like an expansion of the kitchen or extension of the kitchen so that's why we got this little island and it's really cool because on this side it has some shelves and then on this side it's like a little bar so you can sit up here and eat your food but you can also it's like the same counter height and so you can also sit here and like prep veggies or cook on it whatever especially in small spaces you really want to do all you can to like maximize your space use multi-use things here it is it looks awesome it ties in perfectly with the kitchen So we did end up splurging a little bit on the couch and this was like our bigger ticket item. Now we did still find a good deal. They were having like a Black Friday sale or something so we didn't pay full price or anything and it was a pretty small couch so that wasn't too terrible but we decided that this was going to be kind of like the statement piece. The piece that people were really going to lounge around on and just be able to enjoy and so my mom wanted to make sure that this couch was going to be really comfortable and also something that was durable and that would kind of stand the test of time. Jacob, stop. We have the couch in, it looks so nice. We do have a rug that we're gonna put in here, but I'll wait to do that once everything else is kinda out of the space. So my brother's working on putting up this shelf right above the heater or radiator or whatever, and then we're gonna mount a TV up here as well. So right now he's just working on that and we just need to get the shelf like high enough so that you can take out the heater filters. And then this will be nice, like you can put some decor on there, maybe put like the TV remote, things like that. And it'll kind of act as like a little TV stand area, but we can't move the radiator. So we're just kind of making do with what we have. So above this little heater right here, I actually looked for an entryway table, but I couldn't find one that was the right size or in our budget. So this shelf ended up working out perfectly and it was cheap and easy to install. So next we're going to be adding cabinet pulls to these because right now they are just bare. The black cabinet pulls is just going to make them look so put together. The kitchen is a small area and it honestly cost us less than $150 to completely transform it. Let me know if you remember what it used to look like with that builder grade wood color and no cabinet poles. All we did was paint it, add these black cabinet poles, and you have a completely different kitchen now. Thank you. 
So in this Airbnb, since there were no blinds, we wanted to make sure that the curtains could super easily slide along the curtain rail. So we just found these ones from Walmart. I believe they were under $20 each, but we still installed them the same way that we always do. We put them all the way up to the ceiling and then made them about 10 inches wider than each side of the window. And that way it brings your eye up to the ceiling, making your space feel taller and also making your windows feel a lot wider and bigger than they are. One thing we've learned is in older homes, like the walls are very, what is it? Like they're horrible. <laughs> it could be lath and plaster. It could be an empty space, void in the drywall. You could think it's a stud and then it's it not. It could be not. a surprise. Or you could start putting an anchor in because you're sure it's not a stud and then there is a stud there way back is. there. So anyway. Jacob needs to go get like longer screws tomorrow and then we will finish putting up the curtain rods. So just that one and then this little guy over here. So now we're gonna start working on replacing the faucets. The ones we got are like matte black. They are kind of taller faucets and they're just going to match the kitchen and just make the whole kitchen look a lot more high end, which will be very beneficial for an Airbnb. I think it'll attract people to wanna come stay here because we're just making all those little like nice finishes. And my brother is going to do the kitchen faucet, which will be what you see when you first walk in. And then we're also gonna do the bathroom faucet. It's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new toilet seat. Don't uh, worry. What are we doing? What are we doing? Do you notice how we're turning gray? And somehow there's no one to blame. Like the slowest slow clothes ever. We are back at the apartment for, I believe, the fifth and final day. It honestly was really nice to come in here this morning because like you walk in and you see the couch and the table and the hardware's on, like it's really starting to come together. We have the bed in there. It's just feeling like a cozy little apartment now. I think the curtains are arriving today, so we're going to be putting those up, like all the appliances, all the things to stock in the cabinets. We have not a whole lot of decor, just because we wanna keep things very simple. Since this is going to be like an Airbnb, we don't want like a ton of things to dust and just like overwhelm people with, you know, decorations and stuff, but we do have like some wall shelves to put up. We have some mirrors to put up, just kind of different things like that. We need to put out the rug and, you know, throw pillows, things like that. So we're really just going to be working today to mostly like tie things together and kind of finish things up. There's just like a lot of little random things that we're doing, but I feel like a lot of things are checked off the list, which is feeling so good. So we do still have a lot to get done, even though there are like smaller things. So let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. So it actually like the, even though they're kind of all a little bit gray, they have different tones and we'll add like a blue blanket oh, in wow. here to tie it in. Wow. Love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just makes a whole big difference when you put on the carpet. Yeah, the you rug. Know, well, you just put it all together. Yep. It totally does. Wow.
So here we get a little creative and we are just adding this little shelf that my mom had as a side table for the bed. One of the things that I love about these small, kind of interesting, tricky spaces is you get to be really creative. These makeovers can be really easy if you have a large budget, a lot of time, or a big space. But when you have none of that, you have to get very creative with it. And that's exactly what we've done throughout this entire apartment. Okay, so next up, we are going to be working on like a little window treatment area for this like pass through out of the bedroom. And I wanted to do something that didn't look like curtains, but that it also could provide some privacy in the bedroom. We found these cordless shell cellular shade by Allen and Roth and you just pull them down to any length and then you can just push them all the way up so it's just really nice so we're gonna mount them just above the pass-through on this side that way from the living room area you won't see them but in the bedroom they're totally functional I know you you're the color in the last time never shake things up kind don't speak your own mind I know you Everything has limits, obey, don't ask questions, you're the one trying to make me listen. Okay, for the bathroom, I got these little wall shelves from Five Below actually a long time ago and I've just kind of been hanging on to them. They're $5 each and they have like a little wooden shelf and then just some leather straps. So we're just going to hang these up above the toilet area and then we can put like toilet paper, maybe a little plant or something just to kind of give a little life to the bathroom. We finally have, I think everything, like all the big things are all set up. So now we're really just to like the decorating and the final touches on everything. For the most part, we are gonna wait on like a desk right here and little things that we might add later. But for the most part, we're just into like kind of the fun, like finishing touches of everything. So I'm gonna go through and just do like one room by room and totally finish each space. Okay, it is several hours later. We actually ended up just having some family time together tonight and we have no more light outside and it's just me and my mom here now, but we are done with like all the big stuff and we're just down to like the fun decorating and like stocking everything up. So we're gonna go ahead and get this place pretty much finished. This was like the fun part, being able to find all the things that we had been gathering. My mom had been gathering things actually for a month or so, and I had just picked up a few things from TJ Maxx, or we also went to Goodwill. We also kind of went through things at my house before I came up and just brought some things up from there. But we had just spent the past several days working on the shell of this apartment, and now we kind of bring it all to life and just bring in those little accents that kind of bring everything together and just turn it into this little home that's going to provide someone such an amazing experience when they come to visit this town and hopefully help them feel at home while they stay here. My mom is so cute. She is so excited about this Airbnb and it became like a running joke as we were doing this transformation all week. She consistently would look at things and be like, is that super host? <laughs> because that's a term on Airbnb. I think if you just get high enough ratings by people that stay in your homes, you get the term super host and then people will look for that. But as much as it was just silly and kind of became like a joke throughout the week, she is so excited about this. And she really just wants this space to be somewhere that someone can come visit and really enjoy their time here. And so we did a lot of little things around the place to make it feel very warm, very cozy. And we also just wanna make sure that we'll have everything that someone will need. So I would love your help with this. If you have stayed at an Airbnb or if you haven't and you have some ideas, let me know in the comments what are some things that you one, expect 
from an Airbnb when you stay there. Also, let me know if there are things that are just like extra. You don't necessarily expect them, but they mean a lot when you notice that they have been provided for you at an Airbnb. I just know that my mom is really wanting to make this space totally special for somebody. And this is also our first experience doing this. So I would absolutely love your feedback on that one. And I know my mom, hopefully the soon to be super host of Airbnb, she would really appreciate your feedback as well. Through the valley I may walk But you were all I'll ever need Gave you life to take my fall So in the storm I will have peace I remember exactly how I felt on this night. It just felt so amazing to feel so close to the end and just be able to see what a transformation we were able to do for this space and for my mom. I cannot wait to share with you the final results and the before and after of this Airbnb. We are on day six but I'm actually flying back home to Arizona in just a few hours. So I need to really wrap this up. My brother was up super late last night building like a DIY desk. Really, it's just a really pretty piece of wood. And then we're going to be putting that in the little bedroom. And then I just have like a few last minute touches to do. And then I will show you how everything turned out. I'm amazed that we were able to transform the space in under a week and a lot of budget friendly options in here it just really does not look like the same place at all and it doesn't feel like the same space it's just so cozy so inviting it has everything you need and i honestly don't think we could have done anything differently that we would have loved anymore so we don't have a lot of time let's finish this up Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is the same space. We added so much to this little apartment. It had so many little quirky things about it, like the fridge being kind of in the middle of the living room kitchen area. And by adding the island there, we not only added to the kitchen space, we also added seating, we added more storage, more counter space, but it also tied that fridge into the kitchen. And now it all just feels so welcoming and modern. We also added in the new faucet. We added in some appliances, of course. We painted the chimney, added that wreath, the clock, just all of the little touches to make that kitchen really pull you in and just make you want to cook and enjoy your time in there. And then moving right into the living room, we have this beautiful little sectional not too big to overcrowd this space, but super cozy and it has extra seating in there. We also have that ottoman that opens up with some blankets and some games and it sits right in front of that beautiful TV with a little decor and everything just looks so beautiful with all that natural light pulling in from all the windows and those tall curtains really bring your eye up in the space and just make the whole space look so much bigger than it is. And then the bathroom. The bathroom was an incredible thing because 
because we really did not spend much money in here at all and we also didn't do any heavy lifting in here we added a few shelves we of course painted the accents and we also painted the vanity and changed out the faucet and those things just came together to make the bathroom feel so modern and so inviting and it just goes to show that you really don't have to have a lot of money or a lot of space to do something incredible and i feel like throughout this space you can just really notice all the attention to detail and all those little things really add up into being something really spectacular finally we move into the bedroom the bedroom was incredible because it was this weird awkward space with a lot of like weird corners and nooks it has an opening right into the living room which is a little bit awkward and instead of an awkward space that it was before now it is a beautiful inviting somehow spacious room we have a full-length mirror that bounces off light and makes the space feel larger we have a beautiful desk that doesn't take up any floor space at all we have a side table that's functional that board and batten that is now a design feature in the room but also acting as a headboard without taking up any space at all and we also now have that separation between the living room and the bedroom so if you want some privacy in there you can just pull that shade down and you have a more secluded room i am just absolutely in love with this little apartment and it just really goes to show you do not have to have a lot of space a lot of time a lot of budget all you have to do is get creative with everything and you can turn whatever space you have into a beautiful and functional space i hope this video gave you tons of ideas lots of inspiration and if you are looking for more makeover ideas we have an entire playlist so i'm going to go ahead and link that playlist right here for you to go ahead and check out if you are not subscribed already be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and i cannot wait to see you in my next one bye guys